Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Kung gusto mong mag-advanced learning mula first quarter hanggang fourth quarter, kompleto na yung topics natin, feel free to visit our playlist. Okay, let's get it started! Magandang araw mga minamahal kong grade 7 learners. Sa video na ito ay itutuloy natin ang inyong learning task number 2 letter C ng inyong mga module. Kung hindi nyo pa napanood yung mga previous learning task, i-click nyo na lang dito sa taas or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. Alright? Disclaimer lang mga anak, pinapalitan ko yung mga given upang sa ganun ay subukan ninyong isolve yung mga nasa modules ninyo. Kasi mas natututo kayo kapag kayo mismo ang nagsusolve. Okay? Dito sa number 1, Alexa has 20 meters of ribbon. How many 15 centimeters of ribbon can be cut from it? Okay, as you can see, meron tayong 20 meters dito at 15 centimeters. Kaiba ng measurement or unit measurement. Ibig sabihin, ko-convert muna natin yung 20 meters in centimeters para malaman natin kung ilan nga ba ang pwede nating makat sa 20 meters. Okay? Sa previous video ay naituro ko na kung paano mag-convert at kailangan alam ninyo yung mga conversion factors or conversion units. ba yung isang meter is equal to ilang centimeter? 100 centimeter. Ngayon, i-convert natin kung ilang Centimeter ba yung 20 meters? So, paano nga ba yun? Diba? I-multiply natin yung 20 meters sa conversion unit natin. At kung ano yung given dito, yun din yung nasa denominator. So, yung isang meter is equal to 100 centimeter. Para makancel yung meters dito. Okay? Now, 20 times 100 is equal to 2,000 centimeter over 1. And then, 2,000 centimeter divided by 1 is equal to 2,000 pa rin. Ngayon, ang tinatanong ay kung ilan ba yung maikakat natin dito sa 20 meters or in centimeter that is 2,000, di ba? That means, i-divide natin yung 2,000 centimeters into 15. Okay. Para ma mas mabilis tayong makapag-solve, gumamit tayo ng calculator. So, 2,000 divided by 15, that would be equal to 133.33. That means, 2,000 centimeter divided by 15 centimeter is equal to 133.33 ribbons. Therefore, we can cut 133 ribbons from 20 meters of ribbon. Whole number na lang kasi ribbons naman yan. Hindi naman pwedeng 0.33 na ribbons. Okay? Dito naman sa number 2, Mr. J.H. has a rectangular lot that measures 450 meters by 0 0.75 kilometers. What is the area of the land in square meter? He is selling the whole lot for 206,250,000 pesos. How much is the price per square meter? Dito naman, ang kailangan muna natin kunin is kung ilan ba yung area para malaman natin kung ilang square meter ba yung kanilang uh, lupa. Okay? At ang problem natin dito, 450 meters by 0.75 kilometers. So, hindi sila pareho, meaning to say, kailangan pa natin silang i-convert. Yung isang kilometro, ilang meters ulit yon, That is 1,000 meters. So, kapag meron tayong 0.75 kilometers, ilang meters yon. So, that means 0.75 kilometers times, ano yung i-multiply natin? 
Yung nasa denominator is yung isang kilometro. That means 1,000 meters dito sa numerator. And then, makakancel yan. So, ilan ba ang 0 0.75 times 1,000? Kapag nagmumultiply tayo at tatlo yung 0 dito, di ba magmumove lang tayo to the right ng tatlong beses kasi tatlo yung 0 natin dito. So, from this point, magmove tayo to the right ng 1, 2, 3. Then, nagdagan lang natin ito ng 0. So, meaning, we have 750 meters sa 0 0.75 kilometers. And, ano bang area ng rectangle? Di ba, ang area ng rectangle is length times width. Meaning, sabihin na natin yung length, yun yung mas mahaba, di ba? So, mas mahaba si 750 meters times yung width natin is yung 450 meters, yung mas maiksi. And then, so para mabilisan na lang yung pag-solve natin, that is 750 times 450 equals 337,000. 500. Okay? So, meter yung unit natin. So, that is equal to square meters. So, kung 206,250,000 yung benta niya, i-divide natin yan sa 337,500 square meters para malaman natin kung ilan ba per square meter. So, that means... So, i-compute natin, 206,250,000 pesos divided by 337,500, that would be equal to 61.1. So, ang nakuha natin ay 61.11 pesos. Ganun lang siya kamura, sana all. <laughs> Pero, pinalitan ko kasi yung given dito, kaya mababa lang. Okay? So, yung sa inyo, medyo mas mataas kasi 550 yung sa inyo. Okay? Ang sagot dito, nagbaga nyo na lang, 61.11 per square meters. Okay? Number 3, drinking 8 glasses of water a day is good for your health. If each glass of water is equivalent to 148 milliliters, how many liters of water you need to consume every day? So, ang tinatanong dito is in liters at ang given natin ay milliliters. Meaning to say, kailangan natin i-convert yung 148 milliliters into liters. So, 148 milliliters is how many liters? Ano nga ba ulit yung conversion unit natin? Yung isang liters, that would be equal to 1,000 milliliters. So, 148 ml times ilan? 1 liter is to 1,000 milliliters. Para makancel ito, and then 148 times 1 is equal to 148 liters over 1,000. Ngayon, kapag nagdi-divide tayo, diba? Turo ko sa inyo. Pag nagdi-divide kayo ng thousands, thousands, yung may mga zero, magmumove kayo to the left. Pag multiplication kasi, di ba, is to the right. Dito naman pag division, to the left ng ilang units or ilang move, that is 3 kasi tatlong 0. So, 148 from this point, 1, 2, 3, that means ang answer natin is 0 0.148 liters. So, that is 0 .40, uh, 0.148 liters. So, yung isang baso lang yan kasi 148 ml lang itong 0 0.148 liters. Meaning to say, i-multiply pa natin yan sa 8 glasses. So, 0 0.148 liters times 8. Gamit tayo ng calculator, 0 0.148 times 8 equals 1.184 liters. Meaning, 1.184 liters of water you need to consume every day. Okay? Number 4, your baby brother has a body temperature of 105 degree Fahrenheit. What is his body temperature in degree Celsius? Does he have a normal body temperature? Tingnan natin. So, yung given dito is 100 degree Fahrenheit at i-convert natin siya sa degree Celsius. 
Okay? Di ba may formula tayong ginagamit dito? Ano ba ulit yung formula natin? That is degree Celsius is equal to 5 over 9 times Fahrenheit minus 32 or degree Fahrenheit minus 32. So, degree Celsius is equal to 5 over 9 times yung degree Fahrenheit natin is 105 minus 32. So, 105 minus 32 is equal to 73. So, 73 ito. And then, degree Celsius, kopihin natin. I-multiply natin sa 5 over 9. So, 5 divided by 9 is equal to 0 0.56 times 73. That would be equal to 40.56 by rounding to the nearest hundreds. So, 40.56. So, that is 40... 0.56 degrees Celsius. So, ito yung normal na body temperature ng mga bata. So, ang normal body temperature in Celsius is hindi dapat siya tataas ng 37.7 degrees Celsius. Iba kasi yung given ko sa inyo, mas mataas yung given ko. So, tingnan nga ninyo kung uh, pasok ba sa normal yung body temperature sa degree Celsius. Kung pasok siya sa 37.7 degrees Celsius, ibig sabihin normal pa rin yun. And dito kasi sa solution ko, hindi siya normal. At so, masyado nang mataas yung lagnat nito. So, tingnan ninyo mabuti kung ano yung given dyan sa inyo. Dito naman sa number 5, your mother asked you to buy 3.5 kilograms of sugar. Each pack of sugar in the store weighs 250 grams. How many packs of sugar will you buy? Ang given natin is 3.5 kilograms at each pack of sugar in the store is 250 grams. So, ilang packs of sugar ba ang kailangan mong bilhin? Since ang given dito is 3.5 kilograms, so ilang grams ba yung 3.5 kilograms? Sa isang kilogram, mayroon tayo 1,000 grams. Meaning, 3.5 kilograms times 1 kilogram is to 1,000 gram. Okay? Then, makakancel yan. 3.5 times 1,000. Pag nagmumultiply tayo, tatlong zero, magmove lang tayo ng tatlong unit or tatlong move to the right. So, 1, 2, 3. Ilan ang idadagdag natin? Dalawa. So, sa isa 3.5 kilograms, meron tayong 3,500 grams. Each pack of sugar in the store weighs 250 grams. Meaning to say, i-divide natin yung 3,500 sa 250 grams. 3,500 divided by 250 is equal to 14. Meaning to say, you can buy... 14 packs of sugar. Okay? Mga anak, kung gusto ninyong panoorin yung number 6 to 7, i-click nyo na lang sa end screen or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. At mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. Okay? Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please do like this video at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral lang mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!